Exodus 1 verse 8, the Bible says that uh, they came a new king on power. They came a new leader in Egypt who knew nothing about Joseph. That leader, that pharaoh knew nothing about Joseph. Then as he knew nothing about Joseph, he began to plan on how he would make them slave. And he made them slave. Why did he make them slave? Because he didn't know anything about Joseph. He made them slave. He began to make them suffer. He began to mistreat them because he knew nothing about Joseph. He could not read about what Joseph did in Egypt, how Joseph interpreted the dream so that anger should not enter Egypt, so that Egypt may be saved from anger. He interpreted, he brought provision in Egypt and that king did not know anything about Joseph. Then people suffered because that thing, that person didn't know anything about Joseph. We may be here today. There are some people who, who, who knew nothing. They know nothing about Jesus. That Joseph represents Jesus today. If you know something about Jesus, then you not insult him. Then you walk according to his ways. Then people will not suffer. The people began to suffer. People were divided. As Joseph was still alive, the Israelites and the Egyptians were mixed. But when uh, the king, the new king, knew nothing about Joseph came to power, the Bible says that. Uh, uh, they were separated. The Egyptians, the, 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 the Israelites were given the land in the same Egypt called Goshen. So, if people will not know Jesus, other people will suffer. If leaders will not know Jesus, other people will suffer because that person knew nothing about Joseph. The criminal at the cross, Luke, uh, Luke 23, verse 42, he said that, Remember me when you come as a king. Meaning that person knew something about Jesus. That person perceived something about Jesus. Then uh, Jesus replied on 43 and said, Today I'm going to be with you in paradise. There are some people who do not know anything about Jesus. They don't know anything. They don't know the sacrifice that Jesus gave. He gave himself. He was the word which later became the flesh and died on the cross for us. He's the one who's going to come again. Paul couldn't know anything about Jesus. He was persecuting churches. Act, act 9, uh, verse, beginning from verse 5, uh, the Bible said that uh, when the light is struck Paul to the ground and he became blind, he said, that, Who are you, Lord? Then that Lord said, I'm Jesus you are persecuting. From that day, the, uh, Paul perceived who Jesus was. Paul perceived what the church was because we are the, the, we are the church and Christ is the aid of the church. On verse 7, same act, verse 9, verse 7, the Bible said that... Uh, um, and he was told that you should go to Ananias. He will tell you what to do. So what he was doing was not from God. What he was doing was not the assignment. Act 3. Act 3. Verse 6. The Bible said that they reached at the uh, beautiful gate and found a man and told him that you know nothing about this man. Uh, God you know, silver you know, and we don't have what you know. But what you don't know is that rise up and walk. We are giving you Jesus. And the man began to walk. So you need to know something about Jesus. Uh, John the Baptist forget about Jesus. Then he said that he sent his disciples, but he was the one who baptized Jesus. He sent his disciples and said that, go and ask him, is he the one or should wait for another Messiah? Then Jesus replied and said, go and tell him that lame people are walking blind people are seeing dead people are coming back to life so if you know jesus that power is going to operate in isaiah 61 verse 1 the bible said that uh, the spirit of god is upon me blind people see lame people walk uh, dead people come back to life uh, if you perceive jesus uh, then the dead will come back to life uh, like what uh, what Ezekiel uh, said uh, he said that dry bones come back to life and uh, dry bones came back to life because he knew the messiah you you need to know something about jesus if you know something about Jesus, you are going to be free. If you know something about Jesus, you are going to be alive. The Bible says that in John 11, verse, uh, verse 11, he said that I have to go and wake my friend. He's asleep, Lazarus. In John 11, 40, 32, they said that Jesus, if you are here, our brother couldn't have died. And he said that I'm the resurrection. Take me to the grave. On 43, he said Lazarus came back to life and Lazarus came back to life. So you have to know something about Jesus. Don't be the pharaoh. If you be, you know nothing about Jesus who represented Joseph in the Old Testament. There's nothing that will happen. People suffer. They suffered because of the leader. And because he knew nothing about Joseph. The Lord of Joseph manifested through Moses and he, he killed the firstborn. He went on and again manifested and the, he, uh, he told Moses that the Egyptian we are seeing today, you shall see them no more. So your generation will finish. Your children will die. If you know nothing about Jesus,